The main software for the Gram, Pro, Gram Command Pro is an Android tablet that hooks wirelessly talks to the controller that's in the cab, which wirelessly talks to each one of these motors over our proprietary RF uh, signals. You can sh show a map, and what you see here is a uh, simulation of a planter going across a prescription map. The uh, different shades of green represent different populations of the seed, and then the blue is your applied map. Uh, we have things like uh, it shows the name of the field, the speed that you're traveling, your total targeted uh, application rate that was actually your target, your actual rate. And what we've done is you can override the prescription file by pressing increase or decrease. And you can see that now we're at 103% of the prescription file. So it gives you a lot of flexibility to make decisions on the fly in the field. Um, it tells you how many acres are total in this particular shape file. And it tells you how many acres that you've applied. Um, the Android's got the normal pan and zoom like uh, every Android does. In this mode, it always puts the tractor in the center of the field where if you go into pan mode, then you can pan around and zoom and you can find various other parts of the field. Uh, we have a guidance built in where you can set an A point and normally you would drive to the other end of the field to set your B point, but we'll go ahead and set a B point right now. And so now you have a guidance line so that you can, if you don't have auto steer, you can use this to uh, put your rows down. Down here, this tells you how many feet you are off of your uh, off the guidance line. Go back here. We've put in a lot of diagnostics for the operators so that they know what their seed population is. And what this screen shows is we've got uh, this demo has got four four uh, rows in it. Uh, it's set up for eight rows, but we're only showing all four at the demo. But this bar graph right here corresponds to what your seed population is, and then this blue line represents your RPMs of your engine. Now the thing to note is these green spots right here represent the standard deviation of the time for the seed to fall through the seed chute. And on this motor right here, we've set it up such that it's, it's got a lot of skips. And that's what this green is representing, is a lot of skips so they'll flag the operator that, hey, there's a problem with this particular motor. To, uh, again, go along the diagnostic screen, we give the operators this ability to come into this screen. They can control the motors by hand here, and it gives a lot of information that will be able to diagnose most problems that you might occur out there. They'll tell you all the different software versions, tell you the system ID of the tractor. Now every tractor's got its unique ID so that if you've got two planters or tractors in the field, the RF frequency won't interfere with one another. It shows uh, how good your Bluetooth connection is. It tells that you're talking with the uh, interface board and if the GPS is connected and if the lift switch is up or down. That's the high end the diagnostics. Down here, it's uh, individual motors. Uh, like motor three here, it'll tell you that it's at 100. Or, or it's, it's, the RPM is running over uh, almost 1,100 RPM. Uh, the motor restarts. It tells uh, if there was some problems with, if there happened to be any problems with the motor, if it uh, got over amped for whatever reason, it'll record all that information. It tells you the seed count and the average seed spacing. And then on this motor right here, since it's running almost in a perfect condition, our standard deviation for the seeds are zero. So that's, the, that's what you want to achieve right there. And then over here, since we are wireless, we give all the uh, diagnostics information for are we communicating to the motor. And there's a lot of information here that the farmer may or may not want to understand, but these are the big numbers down here. This, in this, this is your uh, link quality indicator and your signal strength. And if you kind of leave these, or if these are all very similar from motor to motor, then uh, you should be in good shape. But it gives you enough information that you should be able to narrow down if there's any kind of a problem. 
and in normal operation when you have the, the field up or if you're looking at the uh, seed drives uh, it will flag you a diagnostic display will pop up when the computer notices there's a problem so the operator doesn't have to constantly be uh, be aware of that um, configuration when you uh, put this on your planner this is the configuration field where you, uh, you set up this information it's kind of a uh, template you can, like we need to know what your seed spacing is, your plate count, the number of motors, that type of stuff. And that gets all stored away. This is a one-time uh, installation. And so once you get that done, then you won't have to mess with this anymore. Uh, yes, we went quick. And then to uh, start a job, you assign an arbitrary field name. And I've come on over here and I just made, a, made up a bunch of names. And then when you create a new field name, it'll ask you, do you have a prescription file? I said yes, and this was the name of the prescription file that I used. Do you have a fertilizer prescription file? Because you can have up to four different prescription files layered on top of one another. That way you can have dry, li dry or liquid um, fertilizer or different types of liquid fertilizer. Uh, if you don't have it, you see some of these say manual in here. Uh, so the homestead field, it didn't have a prescription file, so it's run in manual mode. And then you can uh, put your uh, manually put your uh, seed population in there. And then the, it did not have a prescription file for a fertilizer. So it gives a lot of flexibility of using prescription files or not using prescription files. But it always, always stores the historical data for this particular field here. And... Uh, that is uh, the Grand Pro in a nutshell. Again, it's all wireless. It's a very it's simple install. You can see from the motors here, it's a direct drive with a hollow shaft. It's very easy to install. There is no data wires since it's all uh, wireless. All we have here is the 12 volts plus the uh, line to control your fertilizer, your liquid or your dry fertilizer, and uh, to pick up your seed counter.